Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the course Management Information Systems. We were working on the module 2 Information Technology Infrastructure. And now we have seen three platforms. Number one was the hardware platform, number two was the software platform, and number three what we discussed the database platform as well. Concerning the hardware and software platforms, we have extended view of this when we were doing the emerging technologies. And in emerging technologies, we have contemporary hardware and software platforms. After that, we were discussing the database platform or, or the information management platform. We have seen that when you have the extreme amount of data in an organization, then how are you going to manage that data? And that we saw that we could do it with the help of databases. This we have seen that data management is data modeling is how you're going to uh, make a logical design of your uh, database with the entity relationship model. After that, we looked at a few uh, applications of the database with emphasis on the DBMS, that is the database management systems. We were using the database management system to basically manipulate the data in the database. That is, it is used to create the databases and also manipulate the data in the databases, that is, storing, retrieving files, also querying different data and generating reports. While discussing that, we saw this too, that when you have a database, when organizations have huge databases, then how are they actually using that databases? So that was with the help of data warehouse. They create data warehouse create karte hai, that contains information of all the organization. Jins, jins, uh, department ke ko information chahiye, sare departments ki information hoti hai, data hota hai, sare departments ka. Then we have, when, then it was a scaled down version, that was the data marts. That means ko specific area se related information rakhte hai. Then we talked about business it intelligence, that how are the uh, businesses using these databases intelligently to suit their purposes and to achieve their corporate goals. And that was with the help of data mining and also with the help of uh, text mining and web mining. that there was another technique called OLAP that was uh, used for multi-dimensional uh, data analysis that is it looks at the same data from different point of views or different dimensions so that uh, your analysis is in different directions may asani se ho sake. Right, today we're going to uh, start off with the next platform that is about the telecommunications internet and wireless technology is yewala chapter will be do uh, this chapter will be divided into three portions basically the tele telecommunication portion this may basic networking the next portion will be the wireless technology and the latter portion would be the internet so we're going to discuss three things in this chapter and this will uh, define your two of the platforms which we have defined as the communication platform, the telecommunication and wireless technologies ka, and the next platform was the internet platform. So, in the platform we will discuss in chapter. Mein discuss right, ji. now when we are talking about the networking then when you ha whenever you start up a business or if you have a business then it's impossible uh, to conduct a business without any kind of communication because you need to communicate with the employees, you need to communicate with the suppliers, the partners and, and customers etc etc. So communication and networking is a very vital part of any business. And nowadays, pehle zamane mein communication hoti thi, that was with the help of phone, fax or a bad parayin zamane mein with the help of postal services. But now it's a era of smartphones, of personal computers, of wireless technologies. So it's very, very important for the organizations and businesses to incorporate these new technologies, uh, specifically for telecommunication and networking, so that it increases the communication and it speeds up the communication level. Nowadays, high-speed global businesses uh, require always on and always connected communication. They always need to be connected with the customers, suppliers and partners so that the information ki jo flow hai, that remains constant. So these new contemporary net, uh, networking technologies, they provide a lot of powerful capabilities as well as opportunities for these businesses. 
Right. When you said that, let's uh, look at the learning objectives of this um, chapter. Isme, what we're going to study is we're going to identify the te telecommunication media and hardware required for transmission. Basically, what is telecommunication? Kya hai? Media is used and hardware is used. Ho Next, we're going to identify the network types and key networking technologies, which also includes the protocols. Then we're going to discuss the principal technologies and standards for wireless networking. So this is where our uh, second part starts. Pele do learning objectives to first part ke. That we're going to do today in this lecture. In the next lecture, we're going to study the, uh, the principal technologies and standards for the uh, wireless networking. Then we're going to describe several telecommunication applications that organizations benef benefit from today. So basically, these are your all technologies and these businesses are used in your own way. We're going to discuss this. And uh, afterwards, we're going to discuss how internet works and it supports for communication and e-business. So what are the benefits of internet? How is it, does it work? And how can it support communication and e-business? So this we're going to do probably in the later chapter. Um, now maybe not in the next, but in the next one. Right. So today we're going to start off with the very basics telecommunication. What is telecommunication? What are the telecommunication media? The different kinds of networks. What is networking? Types of networks as well as other networking technologies. So both basic things are probably you studied this um, again in your uh, introduction to computing course as well. But uh, just for the sake of uh, telling you again, we're going to revise the whole uh, concepts. Raji, introduction to telecommunications. Now, what is a telecommunication? It's basically an electronic transmission of signals for communication. Communication ke liye aapke jab electronic signals transmit ho rahe hain, either through any kind of digital device or analog device. So that is called electronic transmission of signals. So either that is happening through telephone lines or digital lines or DSL lines. Yeah, jo bhi medium use ho hai. So electronic transmission of signals is called telecommunication. Or general model jo telecommunication hai, ka hai, that consists of the following devices. Number one is the sending device. That means jahan se message originate kar hai. Jo bhi data transmit ho hai, wo data jahan se originate kar hai, that is called the sending device. It can be any smart phone, it can be any computer, it can be any laptop or any kind of device where the data originate kar Right? The next is the medium or the transmission medium just get through data transfer or from one point to another. Then we have the communication device. So communication device basically is a device that is attached at the sending with the sending device as well as the receiving device or the receiving unit and basically it converts the signals to be tra tra uh, to help it to travel along the communication medium and then on the other hand we have the receiving unit or the receiving device again it could be any phone it could be any uh, computer or main uh, server etc etc koi bhi device ho sakti hai so for example uh, let me give you a graphical view of that. So here, for example, this is any computer. And this is the sending device. Which is connected with a, this uh, is a communication device. This could be a server or maybe a smartphone. So this here is the communication media. This could also be the communication medium as well that is connecting the computer with the communication communicating that is connecting the computer with the communicate device. Right, G. So this is a simple 
model that defines the telecommunication ke aapke sending device hota hai communication device hota hai medium hota hai and the receiving device hoti hai so basically all of this is happening and this could happen through the help of the internet as well all this may be passing from the internet from one point of one person in another country to another person in another country or it could be within a lan so this uh, communication medium could be part of the local area network as well so it basically depends on what kind of network it is so basically aapke telecommunication mein is kisam ka ek uh, structure create ho raha hai ki aapke uh, sending device hota hai communication device hota hai that is basically converting the signal uh, into the kind of signal jo communication medium ke upar travel kar sakta hai सो so, आगे जाके हम देखें कम्युनिकेशन डिवाइसेस कौन सी होती हैं और कम्युनिकेशन मीडियम कौन से होते हैं रिसीविंग यूनिट एंड सेंडिंग यूनिट और सेंडिंग डिवाइस कुड बी एनी कंप्यूटर और एनी सर्वर और एनी स्मार्टफोन एनी लैपटॉप कोई भी डिवाइस हो सकती है जी द फर्स्ट थिंग वी गोइंग टू डू इज टॉक अबाउट द ट्रांसमिशन मीडियम सो ट्रांसमिशन मीडियम इज एनी मटीरियल और सब्सटेंस दैट कैरीज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नल to support communications between sending and receiving devices now these uh, material or substance jiski hum baat karte hain transmission medium can be physical and the transmission medium can be wireless and wireless mein jo medium hota hai that is air uh, transmission medium jab physical transmission mediums ki baat karte hain to hum aage chal ke dekhte hain ki kaun kaun se different physical transmission mediums hote hain so uh, any kind of transmission medium when we talk about physical mediums it divided into more one or more communication channels right so these communication channels can be divided into three categories number 1 is simplex number 2 is half duplex and third is full duplex simplex simplex means that communication happens only in one direction only one end can transmit and the other end is the receiving end full half duplex mein ye hota hai that both the ends can transmit and receive but one at a time not simultaneously full duplex transmission may hota hai that both the ends can send and receive but they can do it simultaneously as well right ji so the channels can be divided into these three categories ki transmission jo hai wo kis tarah ki hoti hai right ji when we talk about transmission medium to iske characteristics hain kuch number 1 is the bandwidth that means it's it defines the speed of the transmission or the rate at which data is exchanged and that is calculated in bits per second so ag aapne suna hoga ki aapke jo connection hai uski bandwidth jo hai for example it's 1 mbps or 2 mbps so it's megabits per second ye usually aap term use karte hain measurement unit use karte hain to measure or to the rate of the data exchange or the rate of the transmission so basically if you have a higher bandwidth then the more the channel is transmitting so usually your broadband uh, communication as higher bandwidth so latency basically is the time it takes for the signal to travel from one location to another so from one location to another travel karne ke jo time required hai, that is measured in the form of latency and it can be uh, affected uh, by the distance between two points or the type of transmission medium being used usse bhi latency effect hoti hai and also uh, because by the number of nodes that are present in the network jo usko transmit karne ke liye from one node to another node jo bhi travel karna hai usne that affects the latency as well so for uh, any kind of transmission medium to be best that requires a high bandwidth and low latency मीन्स कि उसका रेट ज़्यादा होना चाहिए स्पीड ज़्यादा होनी चाहिए और टाइम जो है वो उसको कम लगना चाहिए टू ट्रैवल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर और फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनदर बैंडविड्स के लिए यूजुअली फॉर टेक्स्ट अगर इफ यू ओनली वांट टू जो डेटा में आपका सिर्फ टेक्स्ट जा रहा है दैन इट डजेंट रिक्वायर लॉट ऑफ बैंडविड बट फॉर वीडियोज म्यूजिक एंड एनी काइंड ऑफ ग्राफिकल इमेजिंग तो आपको जो बैंडविड्स रिक्वायर्ड होती है वो ज्यादा रिक्वायर्ड होती है सो अगेन इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द यूज ऑफ योर नेटवर्क कनेक्शन दैट और द ट्रांसमिशन मीडियम बींग यूज डिपेंड्स ऑन योर यूज कि आपने डेटा किस किस्म का ज्यादा ट्रांसफर कराना है इफ यूर ट्रांसफरिंग वीडियोज और फिर ट्रांसफरिंग म्यूजिक देन यू रिक्वायर अ हाई बैंड विथ 
So here is a simple comparison between the different kinds of transmission medium, physical transmission mediums. Number one is a twisted pair cable. A twisted pair of, uh, it basically is a twisted pair of copper wires that are insulated or not insulated. And they're basically used for the telephone services and they're widely available. Disadvantages kya is ke its transmission speed and distance limitation. That means ke twisted pair cable ki transmission speed itni zada nahi hai and it has distance limitations zara distance ki upar aapke twisted pair cable nahi kaam kar sakte then we have the coaxial cable again usme uh, inner conductor hota hai that is surrounded by three layers of uh, insulation right and it is a more thicker wire than a twisted pair cable it is cleaner advantage kya hai it is cleaner and it provides faster data transfer than twisted pair however disadvantage uska ye that it's more expensive than a twisted pair cable on the other hand, we have the, and it is basically your twisted pair cable and that is used for TV cabling. So, your cable TV mein wiring use over here, that is a coaxial cable and it is much more thicker than the twisted pair. Twisted pair ke jo speed hai, that um, goes from around 10 megabits to 1 gigabits per second, you get twisted pair, uh, different kinds of technologies pe based on them. And the uh, coaxial cable ki speed is again 10 megabits per second. Then we have the optical fiber cable that is uh, that consists of extremely thin glass strands that are bound together and they are covered by a sheathing. So glass strands jo aapke itni thin hoti hai, uh, like it's uh, thinner like the hair jo aapke baal hai. and then uh, it basically uses the light to transmit data because it consists of the fiber optics. Fiber optics means that they are using the light to transmit data. So because of that, because of its size, because of its uh, thinness and because of uh, its technology that it's using light, so it has a lot of advantages. That means it ha provides, because of its less, less diameter, it provides less distortion and it provides higher trans transmission rate with less interference that means it provides more security as well to secure the so, transmission over here, uh, signal key that is more more rea reliable and more secure and most of the businesses are using this in high traffic networks because of case may less distortion hoti hai and the uh, speed of transmission is very fast but again uh, problem is ka hai that it's expensive to purchase and install but again if it's the requirement of the businesses then it's always always um, a sort of a plus point to have a fire optics cable and a fire optics um, connection again its speed moves from 100 megabits per second to 10 gigabits per second which is again obviously higher than the twisted pair cable and the coaxial cable Then we have the wireless transmission medium. So basically the advantage of wireless transmission medium is that you can install this kind of a system in areas that are difficult ke jahan pe aap physical transmission medium install kar sakte hain. So it is more convenient than installing the cables. Agar aap koi aisi jaga pe uh, uh, connectivity provide karna cha rahe hain internet ke networks ki jahan pe it's difficult to install cables. So wireless transmission and wireless mediums are the best solution in those areas. Its key technologies kya kya hai? Let's start from the very high frequency one that is the microwave. So microwave basically it's also called the fixed wireless as well. Dekhte hai kis tarah fixed wireless hai? And it provides the high frequencies and high speed signal. So the aapka signal jo hai that uh, moves at the rate of 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz. Here the speed that, jo hai, uh, medium ki that is calculated in the form of in the measuring unit is hertz. So it's 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz. And then again microwave may basically there are earth based uh, receivers hote hai, receivers bhi ho sakte hai, or transceivers bhi ho sakte hai. Transceivers means they can transmit and receive as well. So basically aapke antenna based transceivers hote hai, that are placed on the uh, usually buildings ke top ke upar laga jate hai, with a dish antenna on top of them 
that can receive signals. So basically, top of the buildings can be put on the top or higher locations because they require a line of sight transmission. That means, their signals have no obstruction. They don't uh, they cannot work if they have some kind of an obstruction. So they always require that one antenna should be uh, uh, sort of in the line of sight of the other antenna. So that's why they are placed on higher locations and higher buildings. Basically, earth-based receivers are. What do they do? One receiver, which is one signal, takes it, amplifies it, it sends the signal to another receiver. So this is how the transmission moves on in the microwave uh, signals. Again, in the mode kya hai? air ke andar because it's wireless then they use the high frequencies in the air. So that station just go uh, receiver or transceiver bowler and that is called a microwave station. Then uh, then there's another concept when you have the satellite communication. Satellite communication again uses the satellite with the help of these microwave stations. What happens in satellite hai, that, is, that is orbiting the earth that takes a signal from one uh, microwave station, amplifies it and then broadcasts it to the rest of the stations. Okay, so the uh, this station ko bhi wo mil hai, wo usko, uh, receive kar information ko, and then it is uh, taking in the information. So satellite uh, uses the microwave frequencies again and there are different kinds of satellites that are orbiting the earth. A geostationary sa satellite hai, that basically orbits um, a few miles above the earth on top of the equator and there are basically three geostationary satellites that are working. Then we have the low earth orbit satellites, there are many uh, satellites that are the low earth orbit satellites that are orbiting the earth again and they um, they always remain in the line of sight of one of the uh, earth based receivers so that it can transmit information. Then we have the VSAT, VSAT is basically called the very small aperture terminal, VSAT satellite is and it is a two way satellite ground station. So it's a two-way satellite ground station and that is used nowadays for telecommunications, for uh, point of sale transactions and also to receive uh, television channels as well. So VSAT technology is being used nowadays. So aapke microwave uh, uh, jo medium hai, that is the working at the very high frequency and even satellite communication is happening with the help of this uh, microwave uh, uh, stations and microwave frequencies. Then again we have the radio waves, radio waves again are the waves uh, that are working at the frequencies in the air and uh, they are used to transmit data wirelessly either uh, in small areas or in larger areas. So is ki and the protocols kaun se kaam kare technologies kaun se kaam kare hain. We are going to look into the detail of this in the wireless section jem hum wireless ke baare mein paarenge. Again is ki range kya hai, uh, rate of speed kya hai, it's 30 uh, hertz to 300 megahertz. So it starts, uh, so it has the speed from very small areas to very larger areas. Then we have the infrared uh, uh, waves or the infrared technology. It consists basically communicates or transmits data with the help of infrared light waves. So light waves are and again they require a line of sight transmission. So the data is transmitted only when the devices are in their line of sight and there is no obstruction obstructing the uh, communication. So basically if your computer is attached to a mouse attached, hai, keyboard attached, hai, mic attached, hai. so th these kind of devices usually have uh, the IRDA port which is so it's basically a red light that is uh, on on the uh, devices and with the help of that they communicate with one part of the device to another part of the device. So aapke, uh, different kinds of these peripheral devices have this IRDA technology and they can communicate. Up to a core technology we argue that is again the Bluetooth technology that uses the radio waves again. But again, we're going to study all of these technologies in the wireless section. Uh, then again, our uh, uh, infrared technology is also used in the Apple um, 
ریموٹ کنٹرولرز اس ویل جو کہ اپل ڈیوائسز کے ساتھ یوز ہو رہے ہیں so that اپل ریموٹ is a kind of a remote control that uses this IRD port and infrared technology to uh, basically communicate with the Apple devices. So IRD port is used to transfer data from one device to another with the help of infrared light waves. Next we have the telecommunication hardware. Like we said telecommunication hardware we can say this or communication devices we can say this. So if you remember that when we were doing uh, the hardware uh, components while chapter prior se, then when we were defining the hardware components to usme humne dekha tha there was a communication device as well that is part of the hardware components. So that communication device is these kind of devices that are used with a computer for communicating with other devices or the other computers as well. So the number one is a modem. So modem, modem basically is a device that converts the digital signals to analog signals. Okay, it is a device hai, because the computer generates digital signals or if you are using it with a telephone line, right? for example, you have a very basic modem and that is a dial-up modem which was used before. Today we are using a little bit of a So a dial-up modem, a basic modem, hai, what is it doing is basically converting those digital signals to analog signals so that they can be transferred on that on those telephone lines your twisted pair cables uh, communication career so converting these digital signals to analog is called modulation and converting analog signals to digital signals is called demodulation so receiver and keeper who demodulate cut that that's where the names comes from modulation ke under se uh, mod liya gaya or demodulation ke under se DEM liya gaya. So modem is basically a uh, kind of device that performs modulation and demodulation of the signal. Again there are different kinds of modem, dial-up modem to very basic kind of modem and that converts the digital signals to analog signals and it is basically present in the form of an adapter card that goes into the expansion slot of the motherboard. So adapter card ki shakal mein hota hai and it has one port on the side jis ke inder aapka ethernet cable ja raha hai. Right, on the other hand uh, ethernet cable ja, uh, ka port hai as well as you have the phone connection port jo wire ja raha hai aapki phone wali, telephone wire. Right, then we have another kind of modem, we have the cable modem, we have the DSL modem as well. Right, this cable modem or DSL modem are uh, the ones that convert the signals according to the uh, uh, transmission medium being used. DSL modem basically aapka digital signal koi amplify karke digital um, line keeper aage bhejta hai. But these modems are external modems that means they are not the adapter cards that are, that are placed, placed in the PC. In, in fact they are external devices jo ke alag se device ek hoti hai. Also we have the wireless modem as well that allows access to the web wirelessly to a mobile device. So basically the wireless uh, modem could be in the form of the USB that you can plug into the uh, laptop or computer and access the net wirelessly. Right, so your DSL modem and cable modem are basically uh, external devices and your dis uh, dial-up modem or the basic PC modem and that is a adapter card with the ports. Right, then we have uh, the device called hub. TK hub is a device that connects network components sending a packet of data to all other connected devices. So for example you are using a hub in a network so you can hub to use or that is basically connecting different devices and sending the data to all the connecting devices. Switch to here which is similar to hub but it's a little smarter than hub in a way that it can forward data to a specific destination. TK has the capability or intelligence to uh, direct data in a specific direction. Then we have uh, the network interface card, which is called NIC card, but NIC card is not your na national identity card, it's the network interface card, which is a network interfacing provide karte hai, to be connected to any kind of network. So, it, uh, it's a connection medium for linking network components and it is again in the form of an adapter card or a PC card that enables the computer 
that does not have a built-in networking uh, functionality to connect to the internet or to connect to a network or to access any kind of network. So again, this network card can be in the form of a USB adapter card. This go kuslog dongle bhi bolte hain, so it's a USB adapter card, and uh, for connecting to a uh, wireless uh, a setup or a wireless network. So a wire uh, adapter card will have again a port, and a wireless adapter card will have an antenna. So basically, again, the uh, uh, wireless adapter cards, it can be in the form of the USB or it can be in the form of a uh, adapter card that go into the expansion slot. And with the help of this, either you can connect with any kind of network in the LAN or you can connect with a wireless LAN with the help of other kind of uh, different kind of uh, uh, telecommunication hardware communication devices. These are devices which I am We are going to have a look at a different kind of uh, network setups as well. Agar zab ke aapko images thora se dikhaungi that that will basically explain you ke if these uh, communication devices are used in a network, then where are they placed or wo kis tarah use ho sakti hain. Right, see, then we have the um, router. Router basically kya karta hai? If it's working in a smaller uh, network, then it connects multiple computers together and it allows trans uh, transmitting the packets to the destination and also providing a high speed internet to the number of users with the help of a modem right Z? and if the router is working on the back end or it's working on the backbone and again it's used for pa to transmit packet uh, packets from one destination to another so aage ja ke concept mein hum dekhenge ki packet switching may be aapke routers use use ho rahe hain and they're basically used to route one packet from uh, one point to another point right the routers do aapki device hai, that may have a built in a firewall for security reasons as well so usually uh, agar aapne dekha hoga if you're using uh, internet connectivity in your houses as well to aapne dekha hoga you only use one device so that device can is a combination of a modem and a router together so basically it's providing a connection to the internet and it is connecting different devices in the house as well so router and modem combination can also be used in the small business environment or it can be used in the larger businesses as well then we have another concept or a, another communication device or a hardware called wireless access point wireless access point kya kehta hai? It basically allows transferring data wirelessly between the different devices or it is connecting those wireless devices to another kind of a wired network so for example if you're using a router that is an ether an, uh, ethernet based router then that means you can use that router with a wireless access point to provide wireless connection to devices with may wireless cap uh, capability hai. then the wireless access point have high speed antennas and usually do unke vendors hai, that ask you to place the wireless access points on the ceilings for better access or for better communication to the different devices so your okay, wireless access points agar koi bhi aapne aisi device dekhi hogi communication uh, device jo ke ceiling ke saath lagi hui hai and has antennas on it then that is your wireless access point right ji so when we are talking about uh, all these devices uh, right ji saath mein hum dekh lete hain ki what is a computer network so basically aapka jo ek network create hota hai it consists of two or more connected computers or two or more connected devices right so the simple uh, network contains a client computer again client computer in the network that doesn't mean ki aapka client ke paas wo computer hai but if you working in a business and uh, you are one of the employees has a or many employees have the jo jo wo computer use kar rahe hain that is called a client computer then you have a dedicated server a dedicated server would be any kind of server that is providing the resources or either it's providing the networking capabilities as well as allow, allowing the client, uh, client uh, computers to share resources, for example, a printer as well. Or it could be any kind of a file server, it could be any kind of a web server. Right, the network interfaces, again, network interfaces means that you have the network interface card or adapter card or a USB 
network interface that is allowing that computer to connect to the networking devices. Then it consists of a communication medium as well. Communication medium could be anything, either it's a wireless communication medium or any kind of physical communication medium. Network operating system, again, uh, depends on the kind of a network that it's created. The network operating system would be on the servers or if you're using a different kind of setup, the network operating system would be on all the computers. And it could be having, if you're not having the router or the, any other kind of device, then you can use either a hub or a switch or a router or a combination of modem or a router, anything. So all of these devices basically are used to connect, provide connectivity between different computers and a router is used to basically route traffic from one kind of network to another kind of network. Righty, so let's have a look at the graphical image. It's may, uh, pe, as you can see, you have different kinds of uh, client uh, servers that are connected with the help of a switch or a hub. This could be a hub as well. Righty, so this hub is again connected with the help of this is the communication medium or this diagram mein, this is all with the help of uh, physical uh, transmission medium as well. And then they are all connected with the server that is providing you different kinds of physical resources or any kind of software resources. So physical resource may here for example you have the printer. And then that is uh, uh, connected with a router that is providing access to the internet. So this could have the modem functionality as well. Right, Ji. So this is a very a uh, simple structure of how a, a computer network is formed. It has the client computers, it has a hub and switch, it has a server that is providing you functionalities and the server is also providing you uh, to a net, uh, internet access with the help of a router or a modem. Right, Ji. Let's have a look at another kind of a network with a hub and a switch. Okay, hub or switch, ke saath, agar aapke, uh, connection like in the first one again you have a hub and switch use or again is it ethernet switch or hub user why because you're using the physical medium so when you're using the physical medium the uh, setup may your LAN setup may aapka jo protocol user or that is the ethernet and not the Wi-Fi protocol right so ethernet switch or hub means that uh, Aapke koi wireless device connected near all the devices that are connected are with the help of a physical transmission medium. So since the Ethernet switch or hub do not provide direct uh, communication to the internet, so they are communicating. So they have this computer one here that is providing the connection to the internet, probably with the help of a modem here. So kis can install over. So all the other devices are connected to the computer one and accessing information from computer one here. Right, ji. Next, we have a setup just we have two routers used. So this router here uh, would be the Ethernet router. Why? Because it is providing only wired uh, connections to different devices as well as a wireless router here. Right, ji. So uh, basically routers of those use kar sakte hai. In, in case you have different kind of devices and also that you want to manage the different kinds of uh, internet accesses or you want to limit some kind of internet access to different kinds of devices. So you can use two routers in any kind of setup. So basically you can use a combination of these kind of communication devices depending on what is required, what is your requirement and how do you want to manage the resources or manage the devices that are connecting to the communication devices or making up a network? So again, we have two routers used, ki hai, the wireless router and the Ethernet router. It is connecting with the pieces while the wireless router is providing connectivity to the wireless devices. So here, we can sort of limit the use of uh, certain devices, ke kaun si, uh, device to them. Kisi ko zyada access provide karna hai aur kisi ko kam access provide karna hai. Right, so Wi-Fi, every device has to be within the range of this Wi-Fi or the wireless technology to use over here. All the devices have to be 
within the range of this Wi-Fi. Again, the router is then uh, providing uh, the communication with the internet by routing packets from this network to any other kind of network on the internet. Next, we have another kind of setup. Isko hum hybrid network setup bolenge. We have this uh, modem here, broadband modem here that is providing a broadband connection. Again, it is providing the internet connection here. It's an Ethernet uh, USB cable here because it is a Ethernet modem and it is connected with the Ethernet router again. Thikha, again, we use a router and a modem use kar rahe or these two devices can be one device as well. So these two devices is usually one device nowadays. Aapke bahut sari company, uh, companies are seeing that are creating devices that is a modem and a router with the built-in functionalities of both of them. Right. So here we have the Ethernet router that is an, again uh, providing physical uh, transmission medium to different kind of devices here as well as a wireless access point. Again, like I said, wireless access point can be used with the Ethernet routers to provide uh, wireless connectivity to different kinds of wireless devices here. So wireless access point can be used with the Ethernet router to provide such functionality. Right, ji. again, you can see that the wireless access point is wirelessly communicate kar hai with the different devices that have the wireless capability. Right, ji. or Ethernet router is connected with different devices. Ko connect kar hai. It's even connect connecting the wireless access point, it's connecting the uh, modem, it's connecting different kinds of computers or servers as well. So, uh, you can use these kind of communication devices in different kinds of network setups depending on uh, your use and your requirement. So, uh, let's uh, talk in detail. Abhi jo thori bohat humne baat kiya, LAN ki baat kiya. Let's talk a little bit more in detail about these technologies jo humne use kiya. Usme packet switching bhi word use kiya tha. Let's have a look at those technologies now. Uh, uh, computer networks mein there are um, three major types of networks. Ek extra network type ko hum discuss karenge. Number one being the local area networks. Local area networks kya hote hain? Basically connects the computer systems and different kind of devices within a small area. So, ye jo abhi humne examples dekhi thi, ye humne ek small local area network ko create karne ke liye ya home networks ko create karne ke liye. So, this examples maine aapko different kinds of networks pataye se that can be built. And typically they are wired into the office buildings. So, aapka LAN jo ho sakta that is usually wired LAN lekin aaskal wireless LAN bhi ho sakte hain jisko WLAN bolte hain ya wireless LAN bolte hain. Right, ji. so they are typically wired into office buildings, uh, factories, any kind of smaller spaces and the computers must be equipped with the correct interface. Again, you need to have a network uh, interface card uh, to be connected to these kind of, to be connected to this kind of network or a modem. Then, LAN may aapke basically two types of architectures use of sakte Either you can have a client server architecture Client server architecture humne pehle bhi uh, dekha tha when we were saying that the client side keeper jo aapke computers use ho rahe hain that are less expensive, cheaper computers with not much processing. Processing power hai unme lekin zyada nahi. And one uh, computer is a dedicated file server or it could be any kind of server. So the client computers are accessing the information, accessing the resources or access uh, or storing files on the server as well. So it's also it's uh, storing files, it's providing resources, it's also providing the networking capabilities. And in this case, mein jo aapka network operating system is installed server server. Install and client side, pe you can have the any kind of operating system installed. Then uh, the standard used with uh, the LAN is basically the Ethernet, which is a LAN standard for physical medium and works at the speed of 10 megabits per second. Then we have the fast Ethernet that is working at the speed of 100 megabits per second or gigabit uh, Ethernet that works on the speed of 1 gigabits per second. Right, the local area networks may a core architecture use hota, that is a peer-to-peer -peer architecture that is used in very small networks and different computers are connected with one another in such a way that they can exchange data by direct access and also the peripheral devices that are attached to them. 
then it is basically useful for small businesses. So peer-to-peer -peer, uh, networks may different computers are connected with one another directly or wo ek dusre ke resources uh, share kar sakte hain. So basically aapke peer-to-peer -peer network mein jo network operating system hai that is installed on all the devices so that they can share the information and each of them in a way becomes a server. Right ji. Then we have uh, the metropolitan area networks or MAN jisko kehte hai, connects computers and systems within a campus or a city or its key range hoti hai, 30 to 90 miles. So basically they fall between the local area networks and wide area networks. Again, they are very useful for businesses. For example, if they have, uh, you have a business that is spread over the city, then a man is useful for any kind of uh, for connect providing connectivity between different uh, locations of the business at different locations. Then we have the wide area networks, which are international networks that connects large geographical regions, and uh, internet basically is the world largest WAN here. Right. Another uh, uh, type of network is mesh networking. It's basically a way to route communications among network nodes by allow allowing for continuous connections and reconfiguration around block paths. So, aapki mesh ne networking is somewhat like the peer-to-peer -peer networking in which every node or every computer is connected with each other. So that if one node fails, then it can have a path then another node can have a path of communication to the other node with the help of other uh, nodes. Okay, one node fail ho jata hai, lekin others can still communicate. And it can be used to provide internet access, secure connections to corporate networks and voice over IP calls. So if you want to have these kind of voice over IP calls, you need to have a mesh networking so that it stays reliable. And if uh, one node fail ho hai, then it can be connected with another kind of node. Uh, so that it provides very secure connections. Right, so next we move on to the key digital networking technologies. Like we said, ke when you're using networks, so up key different networking technologies use over here. Like we said, uh, we talked about the client server thori there pehle. Client server computing is basically a form of a distributed computing model which places some processing on the client side and most of the processing as well as the storage power as well as sharing power as well as linking different kinds of networks is placed with the server. So linked to network to server computers all these client computers are linked with the help of a network to the server computers and those server computer sets rules for the communication and it also provides client with its own distinct address. So that address is called a IP address is called every client computer on the uh, uh, in a network has an IP address so that if the communication needs to be directed to a certain computer it can be done with the help of the IP address again client server uh, model mein jo network operating system mein that is placed on the server and the server they, and client server model me there can be multiple servers as well there can be a web server there can be a file server there could be any kind of storage server uh, that is required so after client server computing is the very basic form of computing when you are having a uh, LAN setup right G. then we, we have a concept called packet switching packet switching is basically kya hai ke aapka jab ek data uh, message jab ja hota hai, uh, from one destination to another or from one point to another then that data is basically sliced into different packets theek hai us digital data ko uh, uh, different packets mein convert kar diya jata hai ya different smaller data uh, packets mein convert kiya jata hai and then these packets are sent over the communication paths. Sending uh, uh, point keeper, ye wale packets create hote hain. data is divided into packets. And at the destination, these packets are again reassembled to form the whole data message or the digital message or the digital data. And these packets are then routed through different kinds of routers throughout the different kinds of networks. 
right ji so basically packet switching is sari cheez ko kehte hain ki aap data ko packets mein convert kar rahe hain packets ki sequencing kar rahe hain packets ko keh rahe hain ki packets ke andar address kaun sa hai sending address kaun sa hai receiving address kaun sa hai data kaun sa hai error checking techniques kaun si hai uski so all this kind of information and also uh, reassembling it at a destination is all part of the packet switching now there has to be certain kind of rules to do this kind of thing now for this we have the tcp ip connectivity so when you use different kinds of hardware and software components for a networking theek hai so the aapke hardware jo hai wo different vendors ne banaye hain software jo hai different logon ne banaye hain so initially it was difficult to have a kind of hardware that can comply with another kind of hardware for networking so there were there's a, a system called protocol or a concept called protocol that defines a set of rules and procedures that concerns with transmission of information between two points in a network so all the hardware and uh, software devices now comply with the certain protocols and the protocol for the transmission of packets or the transmission of data from one point to another is called the tcp ip protocol so now only the worldwide standard transmission control protocol internet protocol tcp ip means this is used with any kind of hardware or software for networking so aapke ye jo protocol hai it's basically a suite of protocol jisme do protocols kaam kar rahe hain tcp and ip tcp kya kar raha hai it is handling the movement of data between computers and is also handling the sequencing of the packets as well as any kind of error checking and acknowledging the sending of the packets while on the other hand aapka jo ip protocol hai that is concerned with the delivery of the packets either the packets have been delivered or not and reassembling the packets during the transmission and when they have been received at the destination so these two protocols are working together uh, to uh, basically transmit the data from one point to another with the help of packet switching and routers right so routers aap kya kar rahe hain they are basically transmitting the data from one point to another based on the protocol called of tcp ip ab tcp ip jo hai uh, uh, if you study the network layers to so network layers mein tcp is working at the transport layer that is concerned with packet uh, services and ip is concerned with the routing services so ip is working at the internet layer of the uh, 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 tcp ip architecture so these two protocols are basically working and they are uh, concerned with uh, slicing the data into data packets and it, these data packets are uh, have the address of the location the destination the address of the send, sender the data in it as well as the error checking techniques that are present in it so these uh, so this kind of data travels in the form of a packet from the sending end to the receiving end and the routers are basically helping these uh, packets to route on the best or the shortest path through any kind of communication medium right so these were the few uh, mm, digital networking technology that were being used in any kind of network setup aapke client server computing use ho rahi hai aapke packet switching use ho rahi hai and packet switching is uh, used with the help of the routers and the tcp ip protocol right so so far what we have done in uh, in this today's lecture is that i've given you an overview of the telecommunication what is telecommunication and what are communication networks so telecommunications mein humne dekha tha what is telecommunication basically it's uh, transfer, transferring electronic signals from one point to another through any kind of transmission medium jisme humne physical transmission medium dekhe the and wireless transmission medium dekhe the wireless transmission medium uh basically use the air as the medium to trans uh, to transfer data Ma microwaves hote hain radio waves hain and radio waves mein again we going to uh, study in the wireless chapter ke kon kon si technologies usme include ho rahi hain and also we have the infrared technology or the infrared waves that use light waves to 
travel data. Microwaves may you again using the line of sight uh, earth based receivers that are transmitting data from one receiver to another and also using the satellite for data transmission as well. Then when we talked about the computer networks, so we saw that in computer networks may, there are different kinds of communication devices that can be used in any kind of network to provide the connectivity as well as uh, connectivity between different kinds of devices as well as connectivity to the internet. So these well devices are different setups may, uh, different kinds of networks may uh, use kar sakte hai, depending on your requirement and de depending on your use as well. Then we moved on that computer networks are uh, three basic different types ke hote hai, LAN networks, hote hai, uh, MAN networks hote hai, as well as wi uh, wide area networks depending on the geographical area that they cover. LAN that covers the smallest area whereas as well as uh, wide area networks can, uh, are spanned to a larger geographical area. Then when you are using these networks then there are certain technologies that are used in it. That means for example LAN may you were using the client server model or you were using the peer to peer model. Client server may there are different clients, computers that are connected with one server or multiple servers and uh, they are sharing the resources with the help of the server. Peer-to-peer -peer network architecture may every computer is sharing the resource of the other computer either it's the software resource or hardware resource. And then we have the concept of packet switching that is converting the data into different packets and then sending them over to the uh, different kinds of networks with the help of routers that fix uh, that finds out the shortest path and it is also concerned with uh, the protocol called the TCP IP protocol that basically uh, defines the rules and the protocols for sending this kind of data for sequencing the data for uh, uh, dissembling and reassembling the, uh, the packets as well as transmitting the packets from one point to another. Right, Ji. So, this is all for the telecommunication part. Next, in the next chapter, we are going to study the wireless technologies. What are the wireless technologies? What are the wireless technologies? What are the Bluetooth, hai, Wi-Fi, and IMAX? Ka kya difference hai? And similarly, we are going to uh, study different applications of the telecommunications in the uh, businesses. Ke businesses which are wireless technologies or uh, basically telecommunication kis tara use kar sakte hain digital telecommunication ko in their businesses to achieve maximum benefits and to achieve their organizational goals. So this is all for today. We will meet in the next lecture. Thank you very much.